Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and More. Today's video is going to go over L over D ratio, so length of barrel uh, by the diameter of it, okay? And then we're going to go over, um, I want to say it's called um, specific, or how to calculate specific injection pressure in an injection molding machine, okay? So it's going to be kind of complicated to kind of tell you guys, but I'm going to go through the video and show you guys how to calculate um, that. And then plus show you the three different things that are actually in uh, pressure. So you have hydraulic cylinder, which is your pressure. Okay, you have your screw tip, which is your specific. I guess that's how you say it. Try saying that a bunch of times, okay? And then you have your mold cavity pressure. So there's three different ones. So you have the hydraulic cylinder, you have the screw, then you have the cavity pressure. Those are your three different ones, okay? So I'm gonna go into detail about that. I'm gonna show you how to calculate your L over D ratio. Most of them are like 20 to one, 18 to one, whatever they are. I just want you guys to be aware of what's going on in the video. Follow along. I've took some clippings from here and there to try to help us out as far as what to look for, what to help you guys out with. Then close to the end of the video, I've put in place three different ways of how to calculate, you know, the how to calculate the specific, I guess that's how you say it, uh, injection pressure in an injection unit, okay? So follow along. I appreciate you guys and the support that you're giving to the channel. It helps out everyone. Okay, L over D ratio. L over D ratio is the ratio of the flight length over the screw on the outside diameter of the screw. That is called the L over D ratio. Okay, so <clears throat> if you guys look at the diagram here, it shows the flight lengths and the diameter of the screw. Okay, this is what you want to look at. So the bigger the screws, the more length it's going to be, there's more gap in between each of the flights, okay? So it'll be a lot longer length. So you might have like a 20 to 1 or something like that. So most injection screws use a 20 to 1 L over D ratio, but it may range from 18 to 1 to 24 to 1. And in, and in some cases, thermal set, it may range from 12 to 1 to 16 to 1. This affects the charging L over D ratio or changing of L over D ratio. The larger the L over D ratio, longer the flight lengths are, okay? So you got to remember that, all right? More shear heat can be uniformly generated in the plastic without degradation, okay? Resulting in better harmonicist, try to say that a couple times, of the melt. Um, greater the resistance time of the plastic in the barrel, possibly permit, per, permitting faster cycles of larger shots. So remember, what you want to do is you're going to take the length of the screw times that outside diameter of the screw, and it's going to give you what it is. It's mo the majority of them are like 20 different flights to one, 18 flights to one. So keep an eye on.
guys. Uh, had a little bit of a break there. Okay, so going into this next couple slides that are coming up here in a minute, calculating the machine intensification ratio, okay? So looking at this, <clears throat> the machine intensification ratio or the material hydraulic pressure rate, okay, r ratio is a direct relationship between the injection pressure and the hydraulic pressure. Okay, so on this, you can see here, you have the hydraulic cylinder and you have the screw area, okay? So <clears throat> this is the uh, ratio of the resin pressure in front of the screw compared to the oil pressure in the piston of the injection molded machine. The injection pressure and hydraulic pressure differ significantly in any injection molding machine, okay? So the injection pressure is the pressure applied directly to the plastic by the, by the ram. So by the ram here, forcing it down this way, okay? Um, which causes the material to flow. The injection pressure can be measured directly by locating a transducer in the nozzle. The hydraulic pressure is the pressure in the main supply line from the pump which moves the ram. It is typically measured by means of a gauge in the hydraulic line. Uh, refers to the machine manual on some presses if, if you have to, okay? Uh, but typically ratio is 10 and the typical range of a ratio is between 7 and 15, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you here, you got your intensification ratio is, and it's going to be equal to, and then you'll have how you uh, separate it or calculate it, I mean. So you're going to take the calculation of the machine intensification ratio, and then you're going to divide it by the piston area by the screw area, okay? So if you look, you got the area of the hydraulic injection cylinder that applies pressure to the screw, okay, compared to the <coughs> area of the screw, okay? So you'll have all this stuff added to it, and then <coughs> I'll have on the next couple slides, I'll have, actually it'll show you the, how to calculate, um, you know, significant uh, I guess that's how you say that word, significant. But remember, there's three different pressures in the injection. So you have your hydraulic cylinder pressure, you have your screw tip pressure, which is significant, then you have your cavity pressure. So there's three different ones. So you have hydraulic cylinder, which is hydraulic pressure, screw tip, which is significant pressure, and then mold cavity, which is cavity pressure, okay? So remember that whenever you're trying to calculate this stuff. But like, like I said, you're going to take this area. The bigger the cylinder, the more pressure and stuff you're going to have going forward on here. Most of the time, all your pressure is right here at the very tip of that. Okay, so uh, going to the next slide, I think, is coming up. Um, bear with me, guys. I've, I've never used this speaker kind of thing. I'm trying to make sure I'm able to use uh, the speaker to help you guys out to understand some of the uh, things I'm going through and trying to talk to you guys on here at the same time and show you what's actually going on. So in the next couple slides, you'll see there's three different steps on how to calculate it and how to do it. Um, so Stay tuned on that and watch for that. I'm going to let you guys listen to some music. Oh.
guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for following along. If you guys can, in the next uh, comments down below, let me know what you guys would like to see in the upcoming videos. Uh, my goal is, is to try to give you guys content every Friday or Saturday morning. Come out with a brand new video once a week that goes over anything that you guys want to go over. If it's die casting, if it's blow molding, if it's in injection, extrusion. I've been in all the fields that there is compression molding. So you guys let me know what you guys want to see or hear or whatever. If it's troubleshooting skills, if it's anything that you guys want to know, let me know. And then I will try to get that to you guys in the upcoming videos. Thanks again. Please share and subscribe. Helps the channel out very much.